So Tuesday is bathroom day, so you're going to need my homemade toilet bowl cleaner, a washcloth per bathroom, all-purpose spray, I use the Method brand, and a vacuum. First thing I'm going to do is clean the toilet. Um, I use my homemade toilet bowl cleaner, which I will link that video down below of how I make that. Um, I just pour a little scoop into the toilet and then just use my toilet brush um, and clean it just as you would any other toilet bowl cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do now. I also typically um, don't flush the toilet for a little while. I like to just let the cleaner kind of sit on it and mine's a lavender scent so it's nice um, and I just let it sit for a little bit and then I'll just flush it down so it's just clean fresh water again. Next thing I'm going to do is just clean the rest of the toilet. So right now I am using the Method, um, I think it's one of the Citra scents, just all purpose cleaner. Um, and I just have a teeny bit left as you can see. So once that runs out, I'm going to actually make my own all purpose cleaner and I will make a video for that once I do that. Um, but yeah, I pretty much just spray it all over the toilet and then just go through each part, tops and bottoms of the lids and all that, um, and the bottom part of the toilet and around the bowl. and just make sure everything is nice and clean and fresh. Alright, next I'm going to take the same um, multi-purpose cleaner and um, right now I'm just cleaning the little like um, holders that hold our little hand towels. They usually collect dust pretty quick, so I clean those and then just spray um, all over our countertops, sinks, um, the faucets, everything, and just get it all nice and clean. And I didn't do it in this video because I had actually cleaned my bathroom a couple days ago, but I also um, will typically just clean the mirror. Sometimes I'll use the all-purpose spray, but it sometimes will leave some streaks, so um, I typically will just wet my washcloth and just do plain water um, on there. It can be a little streaky at first, but they should go away. Or you can just hand dry them with a, a dry towel. I also like to just wipe, um, you know, the cabinets and get all the dust off of those as well. All right, next I'm just going to take our bath mat and our little trash can out of the bathroom and I'm just going to do a quick vacuum. I sometimes will do a quick mop or just on my hands and knees just wipe it with all, spray the all-purpose cleaner and wipe the floor with a washcloth if there's like sticky stuff or I just hasn't been cleaned in a while. Um, which I did do that earlier like I said I cleaned my bathroom a couple days ago so I'm just going to do a quick vacuum of the floors get any hair and dust and whatever else up. Alright, so I have two bathrooms in my house, so I'm just quickly um, showing you some footage of cleaning the other, the other um, toilet in my other bathroom. And I just do the same process in this bathroom. I'll um, use my toilet bowl cleaner and then my all-purpose spray for the rest of the toilet. And I just have a single vanity in this bathroom. It's our guest bathroom. So I just clean that and clean the cabinets and that kind of thing. And as for the tubs, um, I our guest tub really stays pretty clean because it's only only used really when we have guests so I typically will look at that maybe like once a month I'll just spruce that up a little bit um, and our tub I did a heavy deep clean on that yesterday so I will do a video on that next time it needs to be cleaned um, but I do also try to get in the habit of cleaning that at least wiping it down once a week and then I do a good clean of the floor and everything um, every month or so hope you enjoyed Tuesday's bathroom clean